morning and happy Sunday everyone. So I'm going to start by showing you what I've built yesterday. So this is our new TV unit and Owen <laughs> went to start in front of it just as I was showing you. Uh, so it looks much better, it fits the space much better and we have more storage. It means like my French box and the Wii used to sit underneath and they were covered in dust and now at least we can just have everything there. Owen is playing Unravel, which is a new game he has, which is very good actually. Uh, and um, I'm gonna go now and build Owen's balancing bench. Um, there's quite a lot to do this morning. We go to a birthday party this afternoon, but we have to bring the stuff in the attic. And I want to clear, um, like to build some of the stuff now so it's done and out of the way because in the next couple of weeks there's a lot to do so I just want to try and get as much as I can done so it's not mental next week basically. So before I start my building I thought I would actually show you what we got in IKEA yesterday. You will see uh, there's a lot of lights and we're going to be installing them gradually probably over the next few weeks or month uh, but at least we have them now and we can get them fitted whenever we can. But um, so we have a lot of light bulbs for all the light fittings then i got some uh, more wrapping papers with matching uh um what do you call it ribbon or well, whatever they call that uh some locks for the drawers and to fit those then i got some pie dishes because mine are getting a bit rusty now i got an extra party pack for alfie's party because i was missing one this is a box uh, that I need to build that's going to sit beside the printer to put like, all the paper in. So then this is some of the wrapping paper I got, I really like that. And then I just got this one because uh, it's gender neutral so I can use it for anyone really. Then we got, so this is going to be the light, we have two of those. It's the light that's going to go in the hallway, so downstairs and up the stairs. It's very simple, it's like a copper color. But it's nice and um, it's just very simple, yeah. This is um, wrapping like a bag, a box I mean, sorry. I like to have some boxes for the stuff that are really easy to, to wrap. Another pie dish but it's like a ceramic one. This is a waterproof uh, mattress protector. I have one but every time Owen has his sick in his bed, which happens a lot with him, uh, I have to put towels on the mattress, so I thought having another one means I can rotate them when I wash the other one. This is going to be the light for the office, and I've been wanting this light for ages, so I'm so glad we went for this one. Um, you might have seen it if you went IKEA. Basically, it's like this. Inside, you have some green, which is quite similar to the green on the walls. And you have the, some strings and you pull it out to open it more or less so you can decide how much light you want and I absolutely love this lamp. The other one that I've been wanting for ages which is for our bedroom is the dandelion shaped ones. It's all white, it's hard to see there. We went for the smaller one because the big one would be too big for our bedroom. For the kitchen we went for it's like a cream metal shade. It's very simple. We got two of them. Uh, then what else? For the living room we have, it's a thing with five spotlights, like this, uh, they are a chrome effect. Um, I wanted something like that because the light thing we have is very, like the light is so dull and yellow and horrible. This is actually his chair there, <laughs> and this is another part of it. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, and then, I've been looking for something to carry around my planner and my plan like my markers and all that I use on a regular basis instead of having it sitting on the radiator beside me and we saw this is like a toolbox kind of thing but I thought I could paint it a nice color and that would do and I think that's it and then there's Owen's balancing bench there that I need to build and this is all cardboard from building the rest of the stuff and this is the old TV unit that is all broken um, I don't know what we're going to do yet with it. We might see if one of the charity shops wants it to try and fix it and then try to sell it um, or if anybody we know would like it or if we just dump it for the wood or we'll just see. We're going to investigate by on Wednesday it will have to go no matter what 
but we are going to decide by then what we do. We're going to phone the charity shop tomorrow to see if they would be interested in it because they could, it's, it is fixable, but because we needed something bigger anyway, I didn't want to go through the hassle of fixing everything for something we were not going to use anyway. So I'm going to build the balancing bench, the box, and probably my little toolbox thing now, so then that's done. Shouldn't take too long anyway. And then I will get the stuff ready to go in the attic. It's going to be a long, big job to bring everything in the attic. We have quite a lot, but after that I will be able to get a shower. I'm, I've been saving my shower this morning for after that because I know I'll get dusty and all that. So it's quarter to one and we are having lunch. Um, I just wanted to address something. Nothing to do with my channel, but more with um, Facebook in general and social media and tags on social media, especially at the moment, the motherhood challenge. I just felt like I needed to express the reason why I don't want to take part in this kind of thing. The first one that really annoyed me was that uh, selfie with no makeup to um, for cancer awareness. I've never understood the link between wearing no makeup and cancer awareness, ever. You know I've been affected very closely by cancer and I still don't think any differently from that. Uh, I don't see the link. Uh, I think it's just an excuse for people to post a selfie of themselves uh, to say look how um, strong and brave I am for doing this and I don't mind people doing it that's fine but I just don't like the way the link between the two basically I would like would like a random challenge with no charity associated with no illness associated fair enough that's fine and I thought the motherhood challenge well yes okay there's no charity associated but there's one thing well quite a few things I don't like about it the first thing is that, to be honest, I don't feel like I want my friend to decide whether I'm a good mother or not. Um, I don't want myself to decide which one of my three, like which three of my friends in my friend list on Facebook are the most, the best mothers and deserve to be on that. Um, I also don't want to tag everybody on that. Um, I don't have any criteria for what being a good mother is and I don't want to have any because the way I believe you are a good mother is by doing whatever you feel is right for your children and your family. Point. Like, that's it. And that cannot be the same for everybody. So I can't judge. I, there's no, to me, universal standard of being a good mother. It doesn't work like that. Another big part of that is that um, I don't want... Like, at the moment, my news feed is plastered with people with pictures of with them and their children and all that and all that and uh, having had fertility issues um, I am thinking if I saw that a few years back when I didn't have children yet and I was desperate for some 
I probably would have wanted to go and hide in my bed for days and I don't want to contribute to that in some people who may have fertility issues without me knowing yeah I don't want to contribute to that and uh, I just really I had to justify myself several times by people who said did you see I tagged you did you don't do it like no I didn't <laughs> Because I don't want to and I don't like those kind of Facebook tags in general but when people actually expect me to do it I'm like I don't want to take part in this I, I have reasons for and I didn't feel like I had to justify myself but pe several people have now asked me are oh, you tag you didn't do it like no so I've just posted a message to just say um, I'm not doing this stop tagging me for that it's not that I think I may be a good mother, but I don't feel like they can judge this and I don't really want my friends to judge whether they think I am a good mother or not. I don't... I just do my best and I'm not... I'm really far from perfect and there are days where I don't do what universally people assume is being a good mother. So, thank you very much. But no, I will pass on this one. So these monkeys are just playing with the balancing bench while I, Alfie I, my, my eye has. Yeah. Well Alfie is trying to get stuff over there. <laughs> a stethoscope. <laughs> this is a little Dr. Alfie. Huh? Our living room is turned into a playroom. I'm gonna have to move some of the toys back up because it's too much right now. I can't cope with this. And the coffee table is back over there <laughs> because Alfie kept turning the Xbox are for no one. We are off to a birthday party now. I probably won't be filming in there, so we'll more than likely see you after the party when we're back home. So we're back home now, and we had a nice time at the party. And I came back with loads of tulips. I got three bunches. So I'm going to put them in the water. The girl. Uh, whose birthday it was her daddy which is also the husband of my best friend here um, is a farmer and he grows flowers and they are straight from the farm they've just been picked so they are as fresh as can be so I'm gonna put them in water I might just mix them for the colors to be all mixed uh, and then I'm gonna film my favorite of the month video because the week after next my best friend Sam is coming over and that's when I need to publish the video and um, to edit everything before that. Oh, there's Alfie. He's focusing on Alfie. <laughs> Alfie, you're prettier than me. He's focusing on you. And uh, James is going to make pasta for everybody for dinner tonight while I do that. No, it's going to be so dinner. Yeah, but that's tonight. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put the flowers in the water and in my video. And after that, I need to tidy up a lot of the house because it's a mess. Shane should make that his... Uh Slogan, farm fresh flowers. Well, it's yeah, farm fresh flowers, okay. <laughs> okay, no, no. if you want. What? We can, we can eat some of them, but not all of them. What are you talking? Oh, yes, the, the flowers. flowers, yes. The flowers we eat, it, but Mama and Papa and Buddha. Um, he grows quite a lot of different flowers, and it was stalks, I think, that uh, he showed Owen you could actually eat them, and they taste like cabbage, and I tried them, and it's actually nice. So there you go, that's your bit of knowledge for the day. Just finished filming my favorite video and I am going to do a little bit of photo editing and print out my pictures for my Project Life book uh, and then I will just get on with the tidying up. I don't want to do it but I have to. So it is now quarter past eight and I am watching Pretty Little Large, catching up on last week so I haven't seen it yet. Just updating my planner for the week. Um, quite a busy week for me. Um, not very vloggable for a lot of it, um, but a lot of work to do um, in preparation for the week after, where I am taking the week off work because my Sam, my friend Sam is coming over from France, uh, so it means I have more work this week to do to be able to do that. But uh, yeah. I'm going to stop the vlog here. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and a lovely Monday. Tomorrow is back to school for Owen, so it means there might be a little rush in the morning, but after that, hopefully, I'll go down for a nap and I can get the house back into order and the laundry done and everything I haven't done this weekend I should have done because we were away most of the weekend, basically, but it was still fun, so 
was worth it, the laundry can wait. Anyway, see you then, bye.